YouTube, what's good? It's your boy AC for Life here checking in one time for the one time. PS4 just had a new update. So today I'm gonna be showing you guys how to play your PS4 on your laptop, Mac, whatever you may have. Stay tuned, check the video out, hit it with a thumbs up and a like. Till next time, peace. Alright, what's good y'all, what's good? So, for my Mac users, you're gonna wanna click Mac to download the Mac application. For the PC users, you're gonna wanna click PC. I'm using the Mac for this demo, so I'm clicking Mac. Launch the application, you know, go through the installation process, click continue, click continue, agree to the terms of service. I already have it installed, so I'm just gonna show you guys, you know, a little quick preview. This is what I'm actually using for the video, I'm using my PS4 controller and um, a USB cable. That's gonna be necessary to, uh, to make this work at all. Um, on the PS4, you're gonna want to make sure that remote play is enabled on your console. Another thing you're gonna want to make sure you're gonna want to make sure that this, that th the account that you're using is the active account on this PS4 that you're trying to use the remote play feature with. Last thing you wanna wanna you're gonna wanna wanna <laughs> no the last thing you're gonna wanna do is come down to system settings sorry power save settings and uh, make sure that the PS4 stays connected to the internet while it is, it, it is in rest mode. So now back on over to your PC in the remote play application. You can come down, come down to preferences on your Mac. It should say something like settings on the PC version. But uh, yeah, you're prompted with the options to uh, change the quality of the actual stream. So uh, whatever your internet connection can support, that's the one you probably want to pick. I have uh, you know 100 megs up and down, so I can support the high 720p uh, resolution settings. And they also have a frame frame rate setting. This is going to depend also on your internet connection, uh, whether it's standard or high again I have a fast enough internet to support the uh, fast internet connection or sorry high connection for both the frame rate and the resolution so I'm gonna be showing you guys what this looks like at its full potential yeah so you give it a second and you uh, just you know twiddle your thumbs waste your time do whatever you gotta do go uh, eat some popcorn play a game of COD play a game of 2k whatever now it really doesn't take that long so once you're connected, you'll see your entire PS4 screen on your device, whatever you're using. And uh, one thing you'll notice is that you can control everything with your with your DualShock 4 controller on your computer. So you want to just make sure that everything is connected. Your, your DualShock 4 is connected to your computer, and you should be good to go. Here I have a side-by-side -side comparison of the PS4, which is on the left, and the remote play, which is on the right. So first impressions are that, wow, that's all I can say really is wow. It is pretty dang on good. It is, it may be like a millisecond off, but it's so, you can barely tell, man. It's crazy how, how <laughs> Sony, you did it right, man. You guys, you guys did a great job with this feature. It is seamless. I'm, I'm, I'm impressed. Now don't get me wrong, there's still room for improvement. One improvement being that giving us the ability to plug our headset into the bottom of the controller, similar to the Xbox version of the remote play feature. You know, but hey, I can't really complain. You know, the pros surely outweigh the cons. Again, this is what it looks like at all the high settings. If your internet can't support this, then it may not look this good. But at the end of the day, you know, just having the ability to play on the go is Definitely, definitely where the game industry is headed. Till next time, hold it down. ASD for life, signing out. Peace.